Welcome to my channel, detailing events throughout the decades. 1973. Summerland Fire. Summerland was a holiday complex in the Isle of Man. It was opened up in May 1971 and was a climate controlled building on Douglas Waterfront. It cost around two million to construct. The building was designed by two different architects, who at the time did not coordinate with each other on the planning of the building. This led to a building with significant fire risks, that would only be recognized later when it was too late. Summerland could hold up to 10,000 tourists, and had a variety of attractions. It was a seven-story covered leisure all-weather complex, which had lots of open space. It was constructed using new plastic materials. The frontage and part of the roof was clad in aeroglas, a transparent acrylic glass sheeting. The fire is said to have started around 8 p.m. on 2 August 1973. It was caused by three boys who were on holiday, smoking in a small disused kiosk adjacent to the center's miniature golf course. The three boys had broken into the kiosk. This part of the building was clad in a material known as galbistus. Steel sheeting with asbestos felt on both sides, coated in bitumen. It had limited fire resistance. The fire quickly spread to the wall's interior soundproofing material, which again also had poor fire resistance. This caused an explosion which ignited the highly flammable acrylic sheeting which covered the rest of the building. The fire spread to the sheeting on the complex's walls and roof, and quickly spread through vents which were not fireproofed. The acrylic material melted and dropped on those below, which started other fires, and injuring the people trying to escape. The open plan design which included internal spaces, acted like chimneys. There were 3,000 people present when the fires started, and no attempt was made to evacuate those inside, until flames were seen. This then led to mass panic and a mass rush to the exits. Many people were trampled and crushed in the attempt to get out. Fire doors were locked, so many people headed to the main entrance, causing a crush. It was almost 20 minutes before the fire service was alerted, and this only came from a passing taxi driver, not from the complex itself. Another call came from a ship two miles away, who contacted the Coast Guard after seeing the smoke. Every resort available to the Isle of Man's Fire and Rescue Service was mobilized. Ninety-three firefighters attended the scene, along with 16 fire engines. Fifty people died that night in the fire. A public inquiry ran from September 1973 to February 1974. No individuals or groups were blamed for the fire, and the deaths were attributed to misadventure. The delay in evacuation and flammable building materials were also condemned. However, on the 17th of September 1973, the three boys who had started the fire, appeared before Douglas Juvenile Court, and admitted willfully and unlawfully damaging the lock on the kiosk. They were each fined £3 and ordered to pay 33 pence compensation and 15 pence costs. Changes to building regulations were made to improve fire safety. The complex was seriously damaged in the fire and its steel skeleton remained there until it was demolished in 1975 and a smaller scale complex rebuilt. This reopened in 1977. In October 2002, torrential rain caused damage to several structures and caused two landslides behind Summerland, which dislodged two 50-ton concrete blocks, which had once supported the roof on the original building, but hadn't been removed. Geotechnical teams determined that these blocks could not safely be removed or stabilized. There was a risk these blocks would fall on the buildings below, and the site was scheduled for demolition. 
The remaining site closed in 2004 and demolished in 2006. The west wall remains intact as there is a concern that if removed, it may cause the adjacent cliff to collapse. Forty years after the fire, a permanent memorial was unveiled at K Memorial Gardens, at the bottom of Summer Hill. Forever remembering those 50 people who died on that fateful night. May you never be forgotten. Thank you for watching and learning about events throughout history. Please subscribe to my channel to view other events throughout the decades.